Like, imagine when you just smoke so much, like, oh, fuck, I'm so buffed out right now. You know? Anything works, is what I'm saying. You can make any word into a word for being extremely stoned. This is Action Bronson, and this is slang with Action Bronson. Some of the things I like to say. Schmacked is a typical New York term for being really stoned. You know, I don't know exactly where it originated, but it seems to have a Yiddish undertone, in my opinion. A schmear also derives from Yiddish. It's just a light grazing of something over something toasted usually, like a bagel or a bialy, like a schmear of cream cheese. New York City doesn't usually know what a schmear is. There seems to be an epidemic of that much fucking cream cheese coming on a bagel and you have to take the whole thing off and you have a mess and a napkin. It's a fucking mess. Can we please stop this fucking bullshit? Final Fantasy VII. When I tell you it's fucking Final Fantasy VII, you know it's at the top of the best marijuana that you could possibly have. Because when I was in Japan, I was smoking some fire. And the music that was playing, it felt like I was fucking walking around in Final Fantasy VII in some sort of weird video game. Crispix, I like that one. Crispix happens to be my favorite cereal in the entire world. Yes, I'm sure you might have thought it was something sugary, but no, it isn't. It's half rice on one side, half corn on the other, and a total eclipse of deliciousness. High ideas. It's when you have that amazing idea, like, oh shit, yo, we're gonna make one million dollars off this idea. And within two seconds, you no longer have that idea because it's gone. It's gone with the wind because you're demolished. Palio string cheese, palio mozzarella. This is a straight East Coast mozzarella cheese. It melts like you can't believe and it browns like you can't believe. Also pull apart beautifully for string cheese situations. You could wrap it in prosciutto. You could have it with fruit. Playing Chicago, you have a joint or a big fat blunt and you each pass it around one time and everyone holds it in until it comes back to you. Hence, getting you extremely high. Everyone starts coughing, they cry. It's a fucking serious game. One of my favorite smoking games. Madre de Sagrantino. Sagrantino is a grape that is grown in Umbria, in Italy. Montefalco, to be exact. And the madre is this gelatinous, fucking beautiful jelly, natural grape jam that that happens on the bottom of the barrels, you know, the wine barrels. It's the most intense, delicious, fermented grape flavor that you'll ever have in your fucking life. Key food bag, also known as my Louis Vuitton luggage. I've carried so many things through so many countries in a key food bag. Key food is a grocery store, a supermarket. It's a run of the mill thing, but it's, a, it's like a Bravo, associated, you know, shit like that. Beasters. Beasters is a weed that's so basic and so nasty tasting, but it was like the illest shit ever when it came out, because I don't know, in New York it was different. We didn't have all the fire. Beasters is, a sh is, is an abbreviation for British Columbia. So that all came down from there, and it was just like a wave hit. The resonator, if you have a hangout with your friends and a hub where thousands of blunts are being smoked and you save each clip in a jar or some sort of vessel and then one glorious day, cut the ash off each, empty out whatever is left in those little baby pieces at the end and then roll it or stuff it. And then we smoke all the resonated clips that have been touched in that hub. It's heavy duty shit, man. I'm surprised I could even speak to this day after smoking so many of these. That's it. I hope you learned something from this.